first fight of the evening. We have Tom Patrol Lilly fighting at Nemesis Martial Arts in Reading. Tom is 19 years old, making his debut, weighing in at 67 kilos. We're looking for a light, fast fighter. And his opponent this evening, in the blue corner, weighing in at 8, 68 kilos, fighting out of Brooklyn Gym, making his debut tonight, Lucas Kavalauskas. Next up in the blue corner, we have Lucas Kavalaukas, fighting out of Bradford Gym in East London. Lucas is 21, again making his debut, weighed in at a perfect 68 kg for the weight class. So our first bout of the evening will be full contact kickboxing, all kicks above the waist, foot sweeps allowed, boxing skills, looking for clean technique. Tom the orthodox fighter with the red gloves, Lucas in Southport with the blue. Both using the reach very well, good jab there. Ooh, lovely cross coming from Lucas. their kickboxing debuts and they both look game really going in for it yeah let's hope with that inexperience they're still able to maintain this pressure for all at three rounds we'll have to see if they start gassing later on exactly if they can maintain this pace and the round kicks from lucas I'm using his reach, long legs, long arms. Clinch. Now with Tom coming from more of a freestyle kickboxing background, I'm a little surprised to see him not using his legs and relying on that boxing, though it seems to be working for him. Good cross. Now obviously clinching is allowed, but they have to stay active within the clinch. Okay, he's starting to slow down a little bit, a little bit now. I think both fighters finding their rhythm. <laughs> Lucas trying to make the most out of the clinch there. And that is the end of the first round. John, who would you give that round towards? I personally felt, uh, sorry, boxing-wise, I thought Tom was game. He landed a good few crosses and his jab was working quite well. Uh, although I do think Lucas was maybe the aggressor. What do you think? He, he was coming up and strong. He, so he got the kicks in early, but they both tailed off on the kicks very early on. I'd say they only got maybe two and they were both, both blocked. I think with a close round in a kickboxing bout, I might have to lean towards Lucas. He did show those legs and they did seem to have an effect even on the arms. But either way, a very close round. Let's see who can bring it forward in the next two rounds. I'd agree with that. I think Lucas was the more aggressive and probably landing more shots. Both of them tailed off on the pace though, so I think they're both getting tired now. That's the inexperience coming from both being their first bouts. So we'll see whose engine lasts longer now. Thought good work from both of them though. Very good work. Very, very impressive, good confidence for their first yeah, fight. Yeah, good confidence. They're both very game. And our second round begins. Tom straight in there, going with the punches, clinched up by Lucas. Tom staying more active in the clinch. Lucas trying to break, break away from the clinch there, but Tom keeping him in. There we go, broken up. 
now. Referee Marvin, Fran uh, Marvin oh. Francis jumping in. Lucas coming in with a big right hand in the leg there. Breaking up from the clinch again. Now, always a clean break. No shots coming out of the clinch. Good aggression coming from Lucas. So warning for hitting in the back of the head in the clinch, though. You can't hit punch in the back of the head. Lucas clearly looking for a big right hook. He needs to watch out with that back of the head though. He's trying to land the punch in the clinch and it's not really going anywhere. He does have to be careful. I think that does come from inexperience, looking to land a shot even at an inopportune time. Yep. Oh, and it's cost him a point. Like you say, it's trying to land a point from every opportunity even when there isn't one there. So in the clinch, there's no point wasting the effort there. At least it doesn't seem deliberate to me, it is no. a question of inexperience. Always no, trying to land strikes as opposed to being a bit more patient. Tom coming in hard there. He's landing some good straights. His jabs and uh, his crosses are coming in well. Both strong in the clinch, both wrestling each other around. Looking to break away, there we go. Ref breaking him up. Lucas straight in, straight in, coming at him hard. Good kick. Oh, great yeah, kick from, from the Lucas. head from Lucas. First real good connect, uh, kick connection we've seen tonight. Tom taking it well, though. Lucas trying to land another one. And the end of the second round. Now, obviously, with the first round, there's a little testing out period, but they were both using their range very, very well. It seems odd that they're both over committing a little in the second round. Do you think that's just a question of looking to both be the aggressor? I think so, yeah. They both look like they're really trying to go for it, and overreaching is one of the things that happens with inexperience. They're both kind of quite vulnerable to that, on the, especially with their backhands. They're using their kicks more in this round, though. And they're actually, the pace kept up pretty good, so I'm, quite, I'm still quite impressed. They're doing well. Strong performance Lovely. from both fighters. Lovely kick to the head from Lucas. That was the, the shot of the round, for sure. I would probably say he landed the more clean punches as well. But still even, very close, still very close. Even if Lucas took the round with that point deduction, it's going to make it difficult for him finishing this fight. He's going to really have to have a dominant performance in this third round. He does need to be careful about sending that hook around in the clinch. Even after the warning, he was still trying to do it. And it was landing more con uh, cleanly to the side of the head, but it's a dangerous one. Third and final round. Good, good sign of sportsmanship from both fighters. Whoa. And an early shot. But Tom seems to have taken it in, uh, in a, in a, in a Lucas, positive manner. Lucas showing his Muay Thai training there. Again, I think that's just both fighters being very eager. It's a reflex. Body. Again, Luke Lucas has to be careful with those shots. Trying to land that right hand to the head. Ooh, big left coming in there. Yes, Tom. And a good return from Tom. Tom not backing down by any means, neither fighter backing down. I'm looking for the big right hand there, not quite finding it. Both been trying to get the legs in. Good head kick there, blocked though by Tom. Good block, well done keeping his guard up. Both starting to show fatigue in the clinch now. Tom going in with the legs, lead leg left and side. Again, another Big nice kick. Left. Well blocked from Tom, though his guard's up. Yeah, I think he started clocking the timing on it. That southpaw back leg can be very, very dangerous if you don't understand it. Oh, he's going again. I'd like to see a little bit more setup with that kick from Lucas. 
He mixes he's it certainly up. not tried to hide it. He needs to hide it and behind a couple of other techniques, a couple of jabs. Even mixing it back up to the body. Ooh, lovely hook. Both fighters looking to finish this nice and strong. They haven't eased off. Very impressed with that. And very, very good. The last few seconds of the final round. I'd like to see just a Again, little bit more creativity. The fatigue starting to show with that. Going into the basics. And it goes to the, the judges' decision. Again, I find that a very, very tough fight to score, John. What about you? Yeah, it's hard to call. I suspect Lucas might edge it with uh, the head kicks he got and some punches. Although I think the more creative puncher was arguably Tom. He did mix Lucas. up his shots a little bit more and he did seem a little bit more accurate with those hands. Yeah, his straight punches were certainly very good. He's using his reach there, whereas I felt Lucas was a bit more wild, but both very, very bonny. It's still a lovely performance from both fighters there. Very, very good. Yeah, there's no give in either of them. And again, a good show of sportsmanship towards the end. Both fighters happy. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have come to a decision. The winner of the first fight of the evening, with a unanimous decision, is the Blue Corner. Lucas takes it. Thank you for the show from Lucas Kozlaukas. Very close fight. I think both judges are the same. I think I agree with the judges' decision there. They were a very close fight. Tom did very, very well. Kozlaukas looking to have a, a strong, strong debut. But both fighters very impressive for their first fight.